He gave us one of the most memorable characters in television history. Now the world is saying goodbye to Carol O'Connor, otherwise known to many as Archie Bunker. The television stage and screen star died yesterday. At the age of 76, Kirk Gregory takes a look back at his incredible career. Say the word, sex. There's women around here, you palooka. I don't use four-letter words around women. <laughs> Carol O'Connor was perhaps best remembered for his portrayal of Archie Bunker, the cantankerous working-class bigot in the legendary television series All in the Family. He won four Emmys and a Peabody Award for the role. O'Connor's own upbringing vastly contrasted that of Archie Bunker, having been raised in a prosperous part of Queens, New York. His father, an attorney, partnered with two Jewish lawyers. O'Connor once said he never heard Archie's kind of talk in his own home. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but you are one dumb polar. After All in the Family went off the air, O'Connor went on to do Broadway plays, several made-for-TV movies, and in 1988 made a comeback to television in the series In the Heat of the Night, co-starring his adopted son, Hugh. The 1995 suicide of 36-year-old Hugh O'Connor led the elder O'Connor on an anti-drug crusade and legal vengeance against the drug dealer who O'Connor blames for his son's death. In March of 2000, O'Connor was honored for his impressive body of work on stage, television, and film, with a star on Hollywood's Walk of Fame. Though O'Connor often said his greatest accomplishment was his marriage to his wife of 50 years, Nancy. Health problems late last year left O'Connor hospitalized with complications from diabetes. And now a heart attack took his life at the age of 76. Kurt Gregory, NBC News. He will be missed. O'Connor wasn't even the first choice to play Archie Bunker, by the way. Mickey Rooney was offered the part, but he turned it down. Gene Stapleton, who played Archie's wife, Edith, says O'Connor was one of the most intelligent and generous people she had ever worked with.